Today, we're looking at a modern farmhouse. So this house was actually built in 1968. However, it's been completely redone from head to toe. It's basically a brand new house, but you still get that old kind of farmhouse feel. It's gonna be a seven bedroom, seven and a half bathroom. It's got 11,575 square feet. Interior, under air. That's not the total. You have a lot of 21,000 square feet. And on top of that, you have a six plus car garage. I'm talking cars and a few more bikes. It sits quietly on a golf course with no interruptions, completely private. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida. And this is what I do. I take you through the nicest homes on the market in South Florida. And sometimes we go on vacation and we bring you with us. And you see properties from all over the country and sometimes out of the country. So stay tuned and subscribe. And on that note, let's go get started. The walk up alone. It's most interesting, just front door aesthetic. You have those beautiful Bogan Villas as you walk in. At least I think they're Bogan Villas. But everything down to the pillars and it's a gorgeous day. Everything is just complimenting everything. But when I come in, look at this flooring that you have here. And that black and white tile to remind you, even though you're in a brand new gut renovated property, you still, this is a, this is a, a property with history. We're from the 60s, you gotta leave some of the history within. So we're gonna come down here, take a look at the first bedroom and bathroom. So this is kind of a, a guest spending the night, you know, he just need their own space. They've got a closet right here. So they have their own walk-in closet. And I, remember, I saw someone comment, it's stop saying walk in unless you're, you can walk in. Listen, I'll, I'll walk, I'll, I'm gonna do jumping jacks right now. Do jumping jacks. But yeah, this is a walk-in closet for sure. And then you have the full bathroom and the black and white, they have it over here, but a different design. So they made it flow. They made it flow. And then even the sink, black, white. And you know, this is not what they're doing in newer properties, but tell me this doesn't look modern and new to you with a little bit of class. Absolutely. You got the walk-in shower over here behind the door. And this is just for the guests as you come into their room. All the rooms in this house are huge because again, it's 11,000 square feet plus. All, look at the space you have in here, windows to let in natural light, which is what you need. On a beautiful day like today, we really appreciate it. So we're gonna go this way, follow it down past your smart screen for the AC right over there. And just take a look. I mean, we're not going upstairs just yet, but this grand entrance, just stand there for a second. Look at this grand entrance when I walk back. This is, am I in a country mansion in Atlanta? I mean, where am I? This is some Hampton house that we're looking at today. And on that note, you know, I've shown you properties that normally have like a sitting room and a living room and a TV room, whatever. This one, it is something out of a page in a book of history. This is any family TV show sitcom that you've seen with, like when there's like a, a room where they all talk and all the action happens. I'm standing here and the audience is right over there. It's this typical scenario. Look at the space that you have lighting, the hi-hats going all the way around and look at the crown molding, how detailed. It's just super special fireplace and that's no gimmicky electronic fireplace. You have a real wood burning fireplace so you gotta get the, uh, the real wood-burning tools. I forgot what it's called, so I just said tools. The whole room is blessed with two massive, look at the size of next to me, look at the size of these windows in this room. This is where people walk in. I would make this the main sitting room. You have all the chairs, seating. This is, this is a beautiful spot in the house. So as we leave this beautiful room, the sitcom room, as I'm gonna call it from now on, just notice the, the millwork as you're walking across on the walls. It adds that extra touch into the property. And then you come into the main, this is where it all goes down, you know? I'll just start with the little details. On the ceiling, it looks like you have the wood beams, but it's been painted white to make it look very modern and nailed it. We'll start on this side. Actually, we'll start on this side. I think you guys can guess what this room is. I don't need to be a typical realtor and say, and here we have the TV room. You know this is the TV room. But this isn't just any TV room. This, well it is the TV room, but just got all the space you need. 
you can think, you know, when you're entertaining with your friends, right, you don't want to be all crammed up. It's got even more room to add extra seating if you'd like. Obviously, this is just like the staging furniture, but for big families, I mean, we're in a seven bedroom house. So you got seven people, seven groups with friends. The amount of people in this house at one time could be a lot. So this room can accommodate the biggest families and their friends as well. So you're gonna need for a house this big, a massive TV and this wall once again accommodates that massive TV. So everybody in this, the 30 people watching TV will be, have no problem. Everyone will have their own space. It'd be quite nice, but just looking down this length, you feel the vibe. And then as we come a little bit further down, this room closes off right here. So even though it does close off, so it won't be open most of the time, this is supposed to be like a pool house kind of look. So I think this would be the perfect gym. You know, you get all your equipment going down. You have the windows going across on one side with the hedges. So you have privacy over here. And then on this side, it's the pool. So this is, this could be like the coolest gym pool house you've ever seen. Didn't turn the light on. And you know what? Yeah, I was gonna turn the lights on, but the lights aren't even on. And look how bright it is in here. Nice. And then we come down further. Better to even make this a gym is that when you come down, you have space for a closet or a sauna, like one of those portable saunas, a full ensuite with the shower, sink, and a, and a window just to look at the golf course and admire its beauty. And so while we're over here, let's actually take this cabana entrance because this is the kind of cabana bathroom and we'll take a look at the, the porch outside. So as I exit the cabana entrance, let me just take a moment to appreciate the birds chirping, the quiet, I don't hear a single car driving by. It's just beautiful. I overlook a private golf course. The next house in front of me is a mile down. It's probably a little dramatic. It's just very far down. So once again, we're a big family. You need big space. You're gonna need a big backyard like this. So you have all this entertaining space. You can tell by the frame of the house, it kept that heart from the 60s but making it modern. So you have these white beams, but you can see like you have the exposed brick right here. It looks really nice. The surfacing of the pool, some people like to get it all one color. Me personally, I'm a dark surface pool person. I like how that looks. And they even have a really nice design down below. It makes it look very nautical. As we walk further down, all the sheltered covered space right here. This is where all your chairs and tables would go and all the good stuff. Even though you have all of this setting space right here, it goes even further down. This is like the outdoor entertaining. If you're having a birthday party, this is the outdoor entertaining space, you know? This is where you throw your, your kids seven, eight, nine, and 10th birthday, and then their friend's birthday. Because once they come over here, they're like, Dad, I want to go to Jason's house, if this was my house. But you also have hi-hats going all the way around. And on the outdoor real wood-burning fireplace, you also have a spot with hi-hats that are aiming at the wall. So if you want to mount a TV up here, if you want to put a really cool picture, it'll be lit up at night. It will look really great. And then over here, where you put the extra wood choppings, it is a real wood-burning fireplace, just elegantly hidden with this marble countertop over here. Or this would be a great place to put the food once it's cooked, if you're having an outdoor Thanksgiving and you want to just place it up here. As we pass by, let me just catch up because it's a little toast. It's a little cold out here. We're looking at like 75 degrees right now. I'm freezing. So once that thing comes up, it'll be nice. Uh, as we come down in further, I'm just gonna say it, and this is no cap. This outdoor kitchen is nicer than my kitchen and a few kitchens that I've seen. Honestly, if your kitchen looks nicer than this one in your home, you must be rich because this is beautiful. Besides the storage, all the drawers that you have for here for storage, you have an outdoor one, two, three, four, five, six burner Viking stove and a Viking vent. The best at when it comes to grilling, in my opinion, is Viking. So you have gas stove top, ovens down below, the vent, and then a Twin Eagles grill. This is like a chef's paradise. This is a chef's when they go to sleep at night and they're hugging their pillow and they're dreaming, this is what they're thinking about, this kitchen out here. On top of that, you've got drink cooler, or cooler in general number one, like a fridge, drink cooler fridge right there. Let me guess, ice maker, and a dishwasher. My God, you basically have a second kitchen out here. All of this overlooking your spectacular backyard with not one flaw. As we pass around, let's just get one more look at it. I feel like I'm in California sipping wine in a vineyard. Beautiful. As you come a little further down, 
Look at this pool area. Imagine lounging out here. Can you see yourself? Do me a favor, pause the video and Photoshop a picture of yourself laying here so you can feel it. Because looking over the f layout of this house, you can you could tell that you're somewhere special. And to top it all off, peaceful, quiet view once again. So now that we're done with out here, let's head back in and continue on with the inside of the house. Coming back down the gym pool house, you're gonna lead us back into the TV room. And so we saw how amazing the outdoor kitchen was. That only leads me to believe that this kitchen is gonna be just as nice, if not better. So coming across, once again, very spaced out, a lot of room in this entertaining space, but takes us to the dining room. Look how warm and inviting this dining room is. I can see my family sitting here. You know, this is me, Alex, his parents, my mom. It's just, this is the vibe right here. I, I can see it. I'm sure you can picture your Grammy and Pappy sitting here too. Didn't even need to say that, but Listen, everyone needs a nice drink, or maybe they just want like an apple juice, whatever the case may be. You have a bar right overlooking the dining room. The fixtures and the choice of the cabinetry just says enough. They have this dark, almost navy blue cabinetry with gold fixtures. Everything is like a brushed gold look, and then the countertops complement it really nicely. Down below, since this is a bar, you have a wine cooler, you have your ice maker, and you also have storage for days. Storage up here for liquor, glasses, as you see, and a sink to top it all off. This bar is probably better than my kitchen. <laughs> I love comparing things to my kitchen. But as we come out of the bar, here, here it goes. Take a look at this kitchen. Look at this. First, first and foremost, the size of the kitchen. It wraps around an entire end corner of the property. The same blue cabinetry. I, Blue is such an insulting word. It's like a midnight musk navy on the island. And then the countertop again, white continues on just like you saw before. The storage in this kitchen, I know I keep talking about storage, the storage is endless. I, I don't make me count, actually I will count. This is how many cabinets are in this kitchen. I counted for you, that's how many there are. Besides having that dining room, besides having the bar stool seating, you have, again, seating up at this island right over here for more residents and guests to sit at. And then on this side, this is where your pantries will be. So you have pantries and these pantries, don't make me get in there, look how deep that pantry goes. And you have them below, all the drawers slide out for convenience. And you have that on both sides. And you know that on a house this big, seven people living in the house, if at one time it could be, you have to have a massive fridge and that's exactly what you do have. You have Thermador floor, look at the, okay, look at me next to the fridge. This is a fridge. This is exactly the kind of fridge you need when you live with so many people. And then as we come a little bit further down, and once again, Thermador six burner gas stove with a Thermador vent above. You also have the pot filler. Listen, who works out? I don't lift weights, yeah I do. But people, not everyone does. You know how heavy a pot of water can be to bring it from here, logging it over, you don't need to do any of that. You come right, you put your pot here, it fills up really quickly and easily, and then you're good to go. So we're gonna come a little bit further down. You have dishwasher number one, and then dishwasher number two. Once again, a house this size, you need those things. So this is like a movie theater screen window overlooking your backyard, and it, Honestly, makes me want to spill a glass on the floor just to clean it up and sit here and just wash dishes and look out. It's that nice. It's a little dramatic. So let's continue on with the tour as we come down this way, pass down by the bar. It's gonna take us into some rooms by the entrance that we kind of missed. So down here, this is where it's gonna lead to the six plus car garage. And yes, it's worth showing you as you follow me. The reason the six car garage is worth showing you is not only is it air conditioned, just look at the size of it. You have that really great like rugged floor that has that traction for cars, all the high hats. This is like when you live in Minnesota and you look up at the stars at night, this is what you see. <laughs> It'll be a nice 68 degrees in here when you park your Ferrari or a Lamborghini or your Jeep or your Jeep. Some people like the, the simpler things, but this garage, is worth talking about. I had to bring you in here, so let's head back in, continue on. So as we come down a little further, on my left is gonna be where the elevator is. Of course, you're gonna need an elevator in a house like this, so it's right over here. And then on my right, you have the service area. It has a sink, another fridge with a set of freezers, and two washers and two dryers. 
you got everything you need in here and it's perfectly located by the kitchen. So if you're hosting an event and you want the caterers to use this space, they've got enough space to do it. It's perfect. So we come a little bit further down. You have a half bathroom on my left and it leads us into another guest suite on my right. So this could realistically be used as a service bedrooms. And this room has its own ensuite with a walk-in shower. So as we come out of here, back in the hall, this is the room, this was right by the front door. And so instead of making that left, you make a right to come into here. And I know there was a few spaces in here. You had the TV room, you had that sitcom room. This is kind of like where you would put the Christmas tree. This is like a sitting room that no one really uses or, you know what, use your imagination for what you think this room could be. So out of this living room, I've showed you the entire first floor of the property. I know, it was beautiful. It's time to show you upstairs and it only turns up from here. As you're coming on up, notice the rail, the design in it. It's very sturdy and solid, beautiful to look at. As we come on up, this is kind of like the common area for the bedrooms. This is where you would put a sofa and then the TV where everyone just comes in and talks and lounges. Over here is the master bedroom and let's take a look at it. As we come in, so the floors in here are missing, as you can see, obviously. And the reason is, is the designer wants to leave it open. So if you want carpet in here, he'll put carpet. If you want wood, whatever you want in here, he will put it in. He just wants you to make the decision because master bedrooms are very personal. So you have a wet bar with a fridge, sink, and storage. Let's just state the obvious right off the bat. The space that you have in here, this is probably the same size, if not bigger than the sitcom room. This is a huge space. It's got sections for everything that you're gonna need. So you can see the TV hookup right here. You put the TV here, your sitting area here, your bed, and you just have so much room like it just never ends. You have a balcony right over here. Let's take a look at that. As you come on out, you get this crazy view of the golf course. I would put more lounging chairs over here. This is kind of like where you lounge when your kids are throwing a bash downstairs. You just want to be to yourself in private. You sit up here a lounge on a day like today. You can really appreciate it. So coming back in, let's take a look at the master bathroom. Everything in this house is impressive. The master bathroom is no different. The first spectacle, soak in tub as the centerpiece of this room. The faucet comes from the ground and then right behind it, a walk-in shower. Just like this with two shower heads, two everything, and then a seat right here. So I can just like sit and whatever you would need that for. Yeah, and uh, comes back out. And once again, I was really impressed with the cabinetry in the kitchen because I haven't seen that kind of color before. And I'm just as impressed with the cabinetry in the bathroom. It's got this powdered blue. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it was. Powder, like a bl powder blue uh, cabinetry. And the sinks are on opposite sides. So. In the morning, you don't want to talk to anybody. You don't have to because you're completely separated. You can, before you wake up and you hate each other, just wake up separately and then everything is perfect. Now this, this is shocking. I have to show you the closet. The closet for this master bedroom, you have to think about it like, oh, where's like the space for the closet? That there's not much space. There's, there's enough space. This is where you see that 11,500 square feet in the closet. Check it out. So this is not a gym. This is not a, a another bedroom. This is the closet so you can imagine obviously in a house this big you know you're probably a foreigner who needs different types of clothes you can store all your clothes in here and then you have all the high hats to brighten up the room so you're never in the dark but i would love to see this house finished if you buy this house call me so i can come back and see it come back down further so as we come out of here gonna make a right and okay, so you saw how big that bedroom was. That was the master. This is a guest bedroom. Please tell me that this is not the biggest guest bedroom you've ever seen. Look at the amount of space you get in here. It's, it's actually crazy. But once again, it's the same kind of layout. You know, you can put your huge California king here, dressers, nightstand, everything, and then you have more room on top of that. It also has a crazy ensuite. The developer left this up to you. He wanted to leave one bathroom from the 60s to make it look like you can still see the heart of the property, where the property originated from. However, if you would like this to be changed, he is willing to assist in the change, whether to doing it himself or giving you a credit, but you still have a little bit of heart from the 60s in here. So you have this green, like emerald countertop and flooring, soak-in tub, walk-in shower here, 
steps down just like in the good old days, but you have a modern shower head at the top and the shower doors are all very modern. And then behind the opposite side, you have the closet. Tons of space in here, no complaints. If you're staying here and you complain, slap you. And now, listen, every room, I feel like I've gone into every room and showed you a surprise. Here's another surprise that I'd like to show you. Let's just, what do you, before I open this door, what do you think is behind here? Say it out loud. Nope, it's not that. Nope, not that. I'll just show you. That's right. It leads to a third floor. This is where you'd put like the bed right here on the kids like talk about their secrets and their crushes. Oh my God. It's like a reality show over here, but it's got all this carpeting space. So you can make this a game room, the man cave, kids play room. Um, my God, I mean, the options are endless. The elevator also comes up to this point. So if you need to get up here from the first floor, you're, it's possible to do that. All right, so out of the uh, secret room over here, that little surprise, it takes us further down. And now this is where the rest of the guest bedrooms are gonna be. So right here where the elevator comes up to, and then on my left, another guest bedroom with an ensuite. It's got two different closets in here side by side. You come a little bit further down. Here we have a potential coat closet on this side or just storage for all the guests staying up here. On my right, I'll take you into this bedroom because it's huge. So we come into here. Once again, this is just a guest bedroom and look at the size of it. You have an ensuite over here and you have your walk-in closet over here. And then coming out here, this is the final guest bedroom that we have. Two closets, nice window to let in some natural light and this bathroom, Jack and Jill's. And you have that nice light powder blue over here. All right, and I'd like to end the video over back by the fireplace because when I originally was over here, it wasn't lit up. So we'll take you back over and how beautiful is that? I really appreciate you coming on the tour with me and checking this uh, and checking out this property. I hope you liked it as much as I do. This is like one of my favorites. And if you liked the video that you saw, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot more tours in a lot of different cities once COVID's over, hopefully, and I won't disappoint you. That's just that simple. So, ow, it's hot. All right, thank you, bye.